G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Well, we have a new update with Lightroom and it has some changes, one in particular that people have certainly been waiting for. The new super resolution feature that was released recently on Adobe Camera Raw is now available with Lightroom Classic. It is a great feature. Let's, let's have a look at it and see how you may be able to incorporate it into your workflow. Now, one of the best things about this feature is that it's super simple and easy to use. There's really no settings or adjustments or different approaches or methods that you need to take in order to be able to use the new super resolution feature uh, within Lightroom Classic, but it certainly uh, is effective. Now, there are definitely, particularly through Photoshop, um, uh, different ways that you can increase the resolution of your images. The Super Resolution is a new feature of Adobe Camera Raw and now Lightroom, and uh, it seems to do a really good job. All right, so we have an image here that I photographed in Brisbane recently as part of a time lapse. It was photographed with an X-T2, so the little Fuji mirrorless camera, great little camera, nice and light and easy to carry around, something that I uh, try and always have with me. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with this camera, you'll know that it's a 24 megapixel camera. So, which means that you have a pixel resolution. If we just switch over to library, we should be able to, we should be able to have a look at that resolution, which you can see here. So the dimensions 6,000 by 4,000. So it's a 24 megapixel camera. Great camera that gives you some really good results. All right, if we head over to the develop module, you can see I've made some changes and edits to this image. Nothing groundbreaking, but a few adjustments of color, contrast, and tonal values. To use the new super resolution feature, all you need to do is right click on the image and head down to enhance. Now you can see there's a shortcut there, control, alt, and I. All right, there we go. And it'll just take a little uh, few seconds to render that preview. There we go. Excellent. Now, this is very similar to the Enhance uh, preview that used to exist. Uh, it still has the option to uh, enhance your raw details, which as the uh, text informs us there, it improves the detail and reduces artifacts in most raw files. But you can see now underneath it has the option for super resolution. So doubles image resolution, ideal for large displays and prints. All right, so we're going to click on that one. And you can see that when we do click on that one, the raw details is automatically grayed out because that is automatically applied through the super resolution process. Now it's giving us an estimated time of 25 seconds. We're obviously working with a raw image from Fuji. Um, so that time frame may be based on uh, the power of your system. Um, and obviously it could be shorter, it could be a little bit longer. So, uh, and obviously dependent on the resolution of your camera as well. All right, so we're just gonna hit enhance and you'll see there's a, a, a little uh, indicator up on the top left-hand side there that it's going through the process. And yep, yeah, we'll keep watching that. It's doing some stuff, doing all its algorithms and everything in the background. All right, so that took a little bit of time there. So you can see now we have a second version of the image down below. And this is doing exactly as it does in Adobe Camera Raw, where it creates a second version and creates a digital negative, so a DNG. Now I have done this with JPEG and TIFF files as well, and it creates a DNG out of those JPEGs and TIFFs as well. So that's an interesting shift over in file formats for that second image. But the benefit is, is if you're working with a raw file or a DNG, and and you apply super resolution, then you still have all of the flexibility to work with uh, a DNG uh, with that second version that is obviously larger. Let's go back over to the library module and you can see that we now have a 12,000 by 8,000 pixel image which is absolutely huge and we've got that original one there as well 6,000 by 4,000. So if we head back over to our develop module and we have a look at the detail of that image at 100%. You can see how much closer we have 
uh, when we zoom in at 100%. So a lot more detail and it seems to be holding up pretty well. Keeping in mind that this image has been worked on, we've raised the shadow areas a little bit. So there is a little bit of grain there in the shadows, but that's to be expected given the work that's been done to the image. So there you have it, Super Resolution now available in Lightroom Classic. Fantastic feature. I'm sure there's plenty of us that are really happy to see it now available. Let me know how you go with it. Let me know your thoughts and the results that you achieve and if you're happy with it. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope this video has been helpful and look forward to seeing you again in the future. As always, any questions, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Take care.